Scrapbooking.com magazine presents the following die cuts article from the October 2011 issue. Find Fall Gratitude by author and artist Wendy Robinson for Spellbinders Paper Arts. Instructions. Start with a 12 by 12 extravaganza pattern paper as your base. Mat a 9 by 9 piece of prosperity pattern paper to a craft cardstock base that measures nine and a half by nine and a half. Add a second mat of under the big top pattern paper that measures ten and a half by ten and a half. Adhere to center of base. Number three, cut emboss small, medium, and large squares from the back side of the Hattie, Hattie papers with S5062 lace doily accents and S5063 lace doily motifs using the Spellbinders Grand Caliber machine. Ink all edges with dark brown chalk ink. Layer with 3D foam squares and embellish with buttons and gems. Number four, cut emboss large craft cardstock square with S5063 lace doily motives. Ink edges. Number five, print six by four and three by three photos and ink edges with dark brown ink. Matte small photo on square lace doily motifs die cut. Adhere photos to layout. Number six, adhere smaller lace doily motifs square die cuts to layout. Number seven, cut emboss an ink photo corner from back side of Haughty Happy Bouquet with S5062 lace doily accents. Ink edges and adhere to photo. Number eight, cut emboss and ink leaves from under the big top pattern paper and prosperity pattern paper with S5073 orchid harvest tags and ac accents. Adhere to layout with 3D foam squares. Number nine, ink alphabet stickers and adhere to layout. And number 10, adhere word stickers to layout. A printable project card with instructions and a list of supplies for this project can be found by clicking on the step-by-step -step instructions link within this article. To find the products mentioned in this article and shown in these layouts, check with your local scrapbook retailer. Browse our premier retail stores for coupons to a store near you. Thanks for listening. For more creative inspiration, be sure to check out all of the great articles and projects in this issue of scrapbooking.com magazine.